year's leading rusher in the NFL. This is Jonathan Taylor. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Working out of the gun, Love. Throw left side here, complete to Campbell. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. And there's a first down catch for Paris Campbell. What a welcome sign for Colts fans who have been waiting for this guy's eventual breakout. Came into the league as a second rounder in 2019 with almost 4 2 speed. Injuries, they've limited him to 15 games in three seasons. But the Colts still believe there's a star burner in there if he can stay out there for 17 games. And a throw for Pittman is intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And the Broncos are going to take over at their own 30 yard line. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos right at the 30. They run here with a second-year man from UNC, Javante Williams. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Well, this defense for the Colts, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. And how'd you like to be the quarterback reviewing the game tape from last week and seeing this defense on the spot? on almost every snap. If the ball was in the air, they took it away. If the ball was popped free, they picked it up. Five takeaways in last week's game. Williams going to get it again on second down. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Denver has the first down. The play going for 15 yards. Now, look, that wasn't a huge game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during the meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch that? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched it more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Got an open man here, and it's K.J. Hamler. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Pretty solid opening drive here, Charles. They've worked in the run game, the pass game, just steadily getting yards, and now they've got it inside the red zone here with an opportunity. And the only thing they don't have so far is points. But the way that they're moving the ball now, that shouldn't take much longer. And they've established a great balance so far, running, passing, doing what they want on offense. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And this is thrown to the sideline. No receiver in the area, though, and that's going to bring out a flag. Uh, we saw it, too. Nobody in the vicinity of that throw, and that earns him the penalty. Yeah, you've got to at least get it close enough to one of your own guys in order to dodge the penalty. They lose the yardage, and, of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Now Wilson. They're going right back to Hamler. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? What's up? Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Fourth down, Wilson trots off, and on comes Brandon McManus for the Denver field goal. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. And he hits the upper, but he carries it anyway. But plenty of distance there as he banks it in. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard, it's 3 in. Distance wasn't the problem, but he did need some help from the right up 
upright, and he got it. A little kiss and in. Yeah, fortunately caught on the inside of the upright, and that pushed it through. This isn't like a baseball foul pole where you hit any part of it and it counts. It's got to go through the post. If he hits it on the outside, that's no good. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And the first time out, they had the interception. That stopped their drive three points the other way, so now they work from behind. They do, but he's got to walk out on the field like he's working from ahead. All right? He's got to walk out like, hey, I just threw a touchdown pass because all eyes on his team are on him. They gain their confidence from the win. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Broncos are going to take possession of the football. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late-round pick right there, making a first-round impact. And a lot of these day three corners, then they're winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense, and he comes up with the interception there. After the interception, here's Wilson. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now it's Wilson. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They get 6, that'll leave them with 3rd and 4. In search of 4 yards here to pick up the first down. Wilson. Got a man open, it's Sutton. Touchdown, Broncos! Cleveland Sutton, his third touchdown now on the year. Brandon McManus for the point after. He's got it, and now it's a 10 0 lead here in the opening quarter. So an early 10 0 lead for him now as they kick it away. And as we 